Okay, next question. Is he really as mean as everyone thinks he is? Oh, okay. Here is the, um, the million question. Five, six, seven, eight. Hi, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I have a special guest, Javi. Hello everyone, I'm here. He's my modeling coach and he's also the modeling coach for Mola 2000. So we're gonna do a little Q and A session and spill some tea later too. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, let's start off with this one. What was your first impression of Honey when you met her? When I first saw you, I was, what is that girl doing here? <laughs> but also, I was, I can see potential on her, but I see you walk, it, when you first came, you were walking on wedges. <laughs> I mean, she should know better that, I mean, working with wedges is terrible for, for, for the runway. I know. The, the dots, when they walk, yeah. it's one, one, one lane only, right? Mm -hmm. These are the wedges I bought for my yeah. first modeling class. Okay. These are the wedges I had the first time, and these are the ones we wear for practice. I came looking like a little duck, but I'm better now. I'm just better. wedges, okay? No wedges no for wedges. modeling. No, modeling tip number just one. Just throw it. Yeah, throw it away. Yeah, throw it away. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next question. This one's for me. What's your favorite part about modeling? It's just having that different persona. Like when you get on the runway and you have that confidence and you feel like a diva, like that's my favorite part about it. Like being able to transform yourself. Because here we're all bubbly and goofy and things, but the minute we get on stage, we're baddie. That was my favorite part. She rocket. Rocket, yes. yes. Okay. So this is for you, Javi. How did you get into this industry? Okay. Well, um, um, I there is there is a lot of people that don't know yet about me, but I'm an, I'm a nurse. I'm an RN, specializing in, in dialysis. But I always wanted to be a runway coach. But um, for me to get into this industry, it was kind of hard. But I, I took the challenge. So I give up my nursing career for the model, modeling coach because this is what I wanted to do when I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. This is my passion. Javi started off as a nurse and now he's a model coach. Like a lot of people would have never thought. So just being able to like give everything up for your passion, I yes. recommend that. Okay, next question. Is there any way I can join modeling? Of course. I have uh, classes for beginning of every Friday from 6 to 8. But if you want more information about my classes for modeling and paying uh, Send me a, a DM on my Instagram and I will give you all the information. I'm okay, next question. Is he really as mean as everyone thinks he is? Oh, okay. Here is the, um, the million question. Okay, <laughs> I'm kind of strict, but when I see my girls, because I, the way that I see him is like a father side, okay? When I see the girls, it's like they're my daughters and I want the best for them. And sometimes I can see potential on those girls. And when they, when I see that they don't try hard, and they don't put a, a lot of effort to do to, the way that I'm telling them, I kind of feel a little sad because I really want them to be successful in life, and I just kind of feel like a, a, a sad when I see that they can have so many potential and they they, they don't use it, mm -hmm. they just let it go. But I, don't take me wrong, I get frustrated sometimes because this is like my daughters. Personal experience too, like. Even if you need something to be shown to you again, like Javi will take his time. Like I know, I can tell when someone, if they get frustrated, it's because they care about you. Like he sees us like his daughters, like he said. And honestly, like Javi to me is like one of the sweetest people. Cause like when he's showing us how to just become a diva and break out of your shell, like that's what he really likes to see. So I know you guys all think that Javi is like big and scary. I may look really mean to you, to you, but the thing is that you don't know me yet. But if you can come to my classes, you will get to know me. I'm really fun and I'm really, you know, easy going. Yes. And once, once you, once, once you get to, once you get to know me, you will love me. You, uh, you don't know her yet, but I already love you. Just come over and so you can get to know me. Exactly, okay? guys. Just come over and we're gonna have a big party. Yes. Like. Otra. Okay, Javier. What is your favorite part about being a coach? So I just love to, the transformation from from shy person to a diva style. Yes. So to, how I really love to see they build when they build the uh, confidence and potential. When they break out of their shell, yes, and, like, I get love confident. that. It's like like with you when you first came, mm -hmm. you were like that. <laughs> you didn't know what you were like. You were confused and disoriented. I was so scared. Right? I'll put in, I'll put clips of me when I first started. <laughs>
Six classes. Yes, I only six classes. Uh, only six classes, which is two, four, six, eight, and twelve hours only. That's it. Twelve yeah. hours? Two hours each time. You're right. Yeah. Only six weeks, and she is one of my daughters. Okay. Next question. Okay. How do I get into modeling? I want to model into dresses, but I'm not Hispanic. So honestly, for this question, I feel like you can just come the way you are. Like it doesn't matter your race. There's another one about height. It doesn't matter your race, your height. Like I'm five six and I'm mixed with Latina and African American. Like I'm a mix of everything. But like you guys can just come the way you are. Like you don't have to be a specific race to model king to dress. What do you think, Javi? Yes, yes, awesome. For this industry, it is sometimes they want you if you're gonna go for a high fashion for specific designers, they want you to be five seven at least. Mm -hmm. But for this industry, for quinceañera dresses, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. You just need to have um, the passion for this. You just, if you really want to do this, just come, get ready, and you can do it. So next question. Okay. Javi, what's your relationship like with the M2K model? Oh, moms? we are just a big family. And they, they all know that I'm very protected with the girls because I want the best for them. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, you know, there is some issues that happen during my classes. But at the end of the day, you know, we always get together and we just sit, we talk, and we just have fun. Yeah. Because like, that doesn't remember that we were like until two or three o'clock like in the morning. Yes, God. Okay. Yeah. Many story time. We had just finished modeling practice and we we're out there like near the dresses. We were trying Jelsea's vegan ceviche. I'm going to tell you right now, that hit different. It was so good. We were just sitting there like talking until like 1 a.m. Like we do things like a family. We go out to eat. Like. There's more outside of our life than just models. Javi loves Javi. He's great. He's, he's, he's does right a really here. good job with the See, she, and that has been with me only six weeks. Yes. And we are like a big family already. Yes. See? We love Thank each you, other. Javi, yes. My Carly pleasure. Mm. Yes. It's a journey, yes. guys, but deep down inside, we're all a happy family. So. Okay. There's a lot of people asking me like if I can give them modeling tips or like how I became a model. So I started taking Javi's classes. So now we're gonna give you guys a couple of modeling tips that you can take home with you. So Javi. Okay. I would say that um, uh, when you first start modeling, when you are in uh, basic level, mm -hmm. so what you really have to concentrate is on your heels. Cause if you don't know how to walk your heels, you're not gonna go nowhere. <laughs> okay, you have to make friends with your with your high heels, because otherwise they're gonna be your enemies. When my first class, Javi was like, guys, these heels are gonna be your best friends. I was sitting there in my little wedges, like, how in tarnation am I gonna walk in these things? But they are like my best friends now. I kind of like them. Once you once you uh, start walking with your high heels, that's what you're gonna start getting confident. Second, you have, I mean, you have to concentrate on getting your confidence. Mm -hmm. Because then, then, after, then after confidence, you have to be working on your own style. Yes, everyone that's, walks differently. There is no, um, there, I mean, I don't like when girls are, are imitating somebody else, mm -hmm. trying to walk like somebody else. Because that's not going to be you. It's not, I mean, you have to be unique. Yeah. Okay, then it's high, high heels, and then uh, confidence, and then your own style. Your own style, and then after that, um, personality is going to come up. Yeah. Because... If you want to be elegant, it has to do with personality. If you are buy a dress in a nice, nice store, okay. I mean, if you have personality, you're gonna rock it. Exactly. You're gonna look, yeah, you're gonna look elegant in that. Like rocket. even if you're wearing an expensive dress, like that doesn't matter. Like you can wear a dollar cheap dress, and as long as you rock it, show your confidence and your attitude, people will never know. Yeah, it's like I'm saying. Okay, then number one is confidence. Mm -hmm. Then I mean, it's that high heels. High heels. Then confidence, confidence. style. Personality. Then once you have your personality, then you're gonna go to the, the next level, which is gonna be elegance. Mm -hmm. And then once you get an elegance, you're gonna jump into a glamorous, into a, a sophistication, mm -hmm. right? Once you have all that together, is presence on the stage. That's what a beauty queen needs to be—a beauty queen, yeah. right? You have to have all that. Right, so everything attitude. put together. Attitude. You have to walk on the stage like feeling like you already have a crown. Mm -hmm. So you know it's a mixture of everything. Like not only is it like beauty, but it's confidence and being able to carry yourself on the stage and just speak to people. Yeah. When you're modeling, like when you're doing beauty pageants, like a way to say hi to the judges instead of actually saying hi is smiling. Like if you're doing beauty pageants and you walk by, like your smile is like, hi everyone, hi everyone, okay, bye everyone, bye everyone. Like your smile <laughs> is gonna win it off for you guys.
Sí, she's good. When I grow up, I want to be just like her. Ooh. Everyone that says I've been walking in heels since I was fresh out the womb and like saying that, oh my goodness, she's lying. She never walked in heels. And Guys, now, I just started. I, have to, I mean, she knows how to walk in the runway. Do so you want to see her in, in action? Okay. We're gonna, I'm going to show it to you, okay? She's really good. Yes, you have to do it, girl. Okay. She's going to be walking with white chest and then with high heels to see the difference. Ooh, okay? I like that. Ooh. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Tiptoeing in my wedges. Tiptoeing in my wedges. Tiptoeing in my
guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and make sure you comment down below which modeling tip you found most useful. See you guys soon. See you. Mwah. Bye. Love you. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Honey. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay.